Hey guys, I was on the phone chatting with the Gina Pearson and Sandy over at Let's Get Fit. So I didn't record my breakfast, but this is exactly what I had. I used this video from Saturday. So I had this for, let's see, one, two, three, four smart points for breakfast. I did duck down here, but I am having one of these for a snack. All right, for lunch, I'm having a breakfast sandwich of all things. I have two slices of bacon on there from New Skis, a slice of Velveeta, one egg, and then the English muffin, which is three. So three, four, five, six smart points for lunch. And that's all I'm having for lunch. I may have some cauliflower, just raw cauliflower, which I really like, by the way. And I just did my meal prep, so it's all cut up, ready to go. So I may have some of that with this. All right, guys, I have some yogurt here for one smart point. I just have my regular PB2 dessert, which I have in the cook with me section. That's what this is for one smart point. Guys, I made this little dessert. Well, actually, it's quite a big dessert, as you can see. This is my hand here. It's one of those white little ramekins, and I think that it's a one cup serving. I have not tasted this yet, and I just sprayed it on top with a little bit of the, I can't believe it's not butter spray. This is, um, I don't even know what I'm going to call it, a pumpkin muffin, I guess, is what it is. I'm testing it out for a cook with me that is going to be coming up in October. And if this is really good, I'm going to show you how to make this on that cook with me. This whole big muffin here is just two smart points. That's it. Two smart the points. inside of it, I just put it in my microwave for one minute. Now, with this batter, it does puff up, like double this size. But don't worry, it doesn't overflow. It just puffs up and it cooks the inside and then it flattens back down when you turn off the microwave, as you can see. But it does get pretty darn big and you put it in the microwave for just one minute. I'm tasting it now. Hmm. It's okay, but I don't know if it's my favorite. I might have to try and switch things up a little bit and see what I can come up with. Good afternoon, guys. I'm out walking. I'm doing a mile outside, and I will be doing a mile on my elliptical when I get back in. For dinner, I am having, I made a fajita mix yesterday. So we're having that on a wellness wrap, which is the Old A Extreme for one point. This right here is zero smart points. The filling is zero. It's just got some poblano peppers, some red peppers, chicken, and then like a taco, a little bit of taco seasoning and cumin. That's what's in there. And then garlic too. And I just fried it all up in a pan and I put some water in it and let it thicken up with the taco seasoning. And then I'm having a little bit of the light sour cream, one point worth. And then I'm having the iceberg lettuce on there. That is it. So this is going to be two smart point fajita, chicken fajita wrap. Really good too. Also having a side of raw cauliflower. So I'm having about a cup of that as well. Is what it looks like, the finished product. Nothing major, but it's really good. This for two smart points for your dessert tonight. Good evening, guys. I'm going to try to make this quick today. You heard the news. The Weight Watchers is changing their name, right? And of course, of course they have to change their name. Remember when I made my website and I said, well, I named it WW with Carrie because I didn't want to keep that Weight Watchers name in case something may come up and I may have to change my name. Well, now they're WW. Oh my gosh, I was that before they were. And I didn't know nothing about the change before at that time. I thought that was so funny. I'm like, of course they have to pick the same name I did on my website. Of course they did. My dog is acting all crazy. I don't know why. And so is that one. He usually is not that alert. He's been lazy lately because he's been in a lot of pain. But he's doing better now that he's on some pain meds. I just got him on two aspirin a day now. She told me to give him two and see how that works. He's doing a little bit better now. I've been promised by many weight people that work at Weight Watchers that the meetings are not going to go away. So I'm going to keep my fingers crossed that on the first that nothing changes other than the food and I don't have a problem with them trying to get make healthier options I love that in fact because that was our goal the whole entire time 
when we were before we way back before we even started Weight Watchers to be healthier to make healthier mm -hmm. options and I love that they're trying to do that and if that's all they're trying to do I can relax a little bit because I I hate change I hate it I hate change I hated that they took our stickers away I hated that they took our sticker in our book away I hated that they took the seasonal terms away I hated all of that but it is their program so they can do what they want to do right and we can make the choice whether to stay or go so I'm gonna make the ch choice to stay because I really want to get to goal and I really want to make myself healthier and if they're gonna change the foods to make it healthier I think that's a great idea what I would love to see is that those things like pretzels or the snacky foods or just things that aren't really that healthy for us are higher in points. And those things like avocados and those sort of things that they have higher points right now come down in points. I would love to see that. I would love it. Heck, I would love to see avocados go free on the free list, actually, because, I mean, really, how much avocado can you really eat in one sitting? Anyway, I love the fact that they are trying to go healthier. I really do love that fact and I hate the fact that they're taking those extra incentives away from us. That's my lowdown on it. During my walk I ended up getting two miles in instead of one. I just kept walking. I was a little bit cold at first because the wind was really blowing and then I, I remembered okay on the way home I know that it's not blowing as hard because you're walking kind of with the wind instead of against it so that kept me going I'm like I'll be warmer on the way home well by the time I got like three quarters of my mile in I was really warm because you know I got enough exercise in to warm up my my body but it was just so windy again it was re really windy not as windy as the one day I was walking though but I did get two miles in. I'm gonna try to get one more mile on the elliptical tonight I will let you know if I do that it'll probably be on tomorrow's video because I'm gonna try to upload this one right away it is 7 30 I'm gonna try to get this all done by 8 30 so I can go upstairs hubby's coming home in a little bit here I have dinner ready for him so when he gets home Hopefully I'll have this all edited and uploading and then I can just go upstairs and chill with him for an hour or so before bed. But until then, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to post a picture or maybe a little snippet of my video. Somebody wanted to see my diamond art on the Starry Night by Van Gogh and I got that done and I will show a little video clip here next. So keep an eye out for that. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share this if you think anybody may like it. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. All right, somebody asked to see my finished Starry Night diamond painting. This is it. It looks beautiful. Very shiny if I kind of tilt it a little bit. You can see how sparkly that is. These are the round diamonds and this size is a 20 by 16 inch. So I'm trying to trying to figure out how to cut it now to stick it on my board that I'm going to frame it on. I'm still working on it. I'm trying to work out the progress here. So that's what I'm working on there. But it was really, really fun to do. I love it. It turned out great. I would love to do another one sort of like this, but with the square diamonds instead of the round. The circle diamonds are... A little bit more glittery and the square diamonds look more like a glass sort of so that's the difference between them this looks more like a sparkle glitter and there it's really it really is sparkly but you can see there is spaces between them and that's the the main part I don't like about it because it's gonna be a big dust collector unless I get it behind some glass real quick so otherwise yeah I love it, it looks really nice Break it down to a second